Welcome to the January week four installment of Stacker News. What did you miss last week in YouTube web dev? In this video, I'll highlight my favorite top 20-ish videos from last week to help you decide which to watch. And maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. Be sure to watch to the end to check out the underrated video of the week that you need to watch. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. And all of the links to the videos mentioned will be in the description below. This is Stacker News. Now these are in no particular order. In this video, Chris Hawks gives you a rundown of what he likes about Google's Go programming language, Golang. Next up, the Net Ninja began a Next.js tutorial series where you'll learn how to create a website with Next.js, including pages, routes, layouts, fetching data, and deployment. Have you heard of Tailwind CSS? In this video, Harry Wolf answers these questions. What is Tailwind? Why is it better than Bootstrap? How does Tailwind work? And what does it look like? Are you scared of code reviews? In this video, Clement will cover some best practices. If you're a software engineer, code reviews are a big part of your job. You have to submit code for code review and review other people's code. He covers some code review tips and tricks to follow at big companies and startups alike. Really quick, like this video, it helps me out. Don't leave your REST API endpoint unsecured. Be sure to check out this tutorial from Be A Better Dev. He'll show you step-by-step -step how to secure your API gateway with AWS Lambda authorizers. Next up, Jesse Showalter shows you how to fix five common UI card mistakes. I like that name, by the way. The card component is one of the most common UI elements you'll see in modern interfaces, but there are five common mistakes in the UI design element that he sees all of the time. So let him show you how to fix those issues. Next up, Chow Codes talks about five things unemployment taught him. He talks about losing his job and the struggles that come with starting your own business. In other news, Andy Sterkowitz has some great news for self-taught programmers in 2021. So if you're looking to become a programmer this year, be sure to check out this video. Have you heard of BattleBots? How about Battlesnake? In this video, Eddie Zhao shows us the Battlesnake website where you can program your own Battlesnake and compete online. It's a multiplayer programming game played by developers all over the world. Do you want to know the simplest path to becoming a web developer in 2021? In this video, James Q. Quick shows us the simplest path you can follow to do just that. There are other videos that show you an overwhelming amount of technologies, but this video will help you narrow it down. Be sure to check it out. Last week was the week of crash courses. We've got another great crash course here from Traversy Media. In this video, he'll show you the fundamentals of Next.js, such as SSR and SSG, routing, data fetching, APIs, and more. And another crash course from Design Course on HTML and CSS. He takes a project that he created in Adobe XD, codes it using HTML and CSS, and makes it fully responsive. And another crash course from me, TypeScript Crash Course 2021, The Basics from Scratch. I'll teach you what TypeScript is and how you can use it in your next project. And since it's a superset of JavaScript, it can do everything that JavaScript can, but adds more features. The types that we'll cover are string, number, boolean, array, object, any, void, null and undefined, tuple, enums, and generics. Now, if you've been struggling with authentication in your Next.js app, be sure to check out this video from DevMentor Live. He implements easy authentication for Next.js using NextAuth. Next up, we've got some Flutter news from Flutter Explained. He's got a Flutter roadmap and some upcoming Flutter events and podcasts that you should look out for. Do you want to add a social login to your website or app? to make it easier for new viewers to join your platform? In this video on the Auth0 channel, you can find out how you can do that in under 10 minutes. How about creating an entire chat application using React? In this video, JavaScript Mastery does just that in just one hour. You'll learn sockets, REST APIs, sending images, React hooks, props, and CSS. This course breaks down everything you need to know to create a React chat application with online statuses, icons telling you who read the message, image support, sound notifications, the ability to create multiple rooms, and much more. Flutter's popularity has been growing so much recently. Let Tadas Petra show you how to learn Flutter in 2021. 
In this video, he'll show you a bunch of resources that will help you to learn as well. Last week, we also saw a bunch of developers speaking out about a hot topic, GameStop stocks. Now, I'm not personally into stock trading, but if you are, you might be interested in some of these videos. We had DevEd with his thoughts, and Coding Garden recreates the GameStop logo with HTML, CSS, and some bonus JavaScript to make it interactive. And Eat the Blocks shows us how programmers become rich with Wall Street bets by creating a sentiment analysis. Next up, Coding Entrepreneurs shows us how to integrate Python and Airtable. This is a low-code tutorial. Now, recently, I discovered Maxim Ivanov's channel. He has a lot of React content. In this video, he deploys a React application to Firebase using GitHub Actions. It's now time for the underrated video of the week. Did you know that you can create a custom GitHub profile readme? In this video, Carrie Presley will show you how. And that reminds me, I really need to update mine. It looks terrible since they implemented dark mode. I'm kind of embarrassed. So be sure to check out her channel and give her a sub. And I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this. Thank <laughs> you.